So we have paint loaded all the way out to both guns. Uh, the lines are primed, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put some what would be mixed material all the way out to the gun. All right. Remember, we're using water here. Um, so water, the viscosity between the A and the B is identical. Uh, so what we've done is we put some extra restriction on one side to highlight a problem uh, that is a very common occurrence in initial startups. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the mix manifold into spray. We're gonna go ahead and hit the spray button, trigger the gun, and we're gonna load paint all the way out to the gun. All right, what happened is we got an alarm that said we have a pressure B over A. And this is a very, very common problem. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna clear this fault and then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna change the mix pressure tolerance from 25% up to a bigger number. Um, and the only reason I'm doing this is so we can go ahead and finish the load so I can show you exactly what's going on. So let's go out of that. We're gonna go back to our main screen we're gonna go ahead and put it back into mix and we'll finish our load. The system was able to finish loading the gun now. We're gonna go back into spray. We'll trigger the gun and we're gonna highlight the pressures from the A pump to the B pump. So what's going on here is because typically the catalyst is a little bit heavier or thicker than the base, we're developing more pressure loss across the pump. And our two pressures are not close enough to each other to maintain that 25% relationship. So by taking it out to 90, I'm, I'm able to now run and highlight the problem. All right, so this is a very, very common problem. So what you need to do is one of two things. You need to either open the hose size on the catalyst to reduce that pressure drop in that hose or close down the base smaller diameter or restriction to increase that pressure. Bottom line is, is you gotta get those two pressures closer to each other so you can go back in and change that 25% uh, from 90 where we, get it, where we set it just so we could get the system running. So now I've gone into the system and I've made some changes to the system to simulate us opening up the fluid hose on the catalyst side so we can reduce that pressure drop across it. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put us back into the spray mode, pull the trigger, and then if we pull into the screen here, you'll notice that my pressures are much more even across. I'm working at about three to two PSI across both pumps. So now I can go back in and I can change that tolerance back down to 25% and we're off and running.